Sunny Bonani, do me lang, abshen, um, huye dag. Um, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I haven't posted in like a while, and that that is uh, because of certain reasons. Um, I just took some time off. You know the time that we're living in, the season of COVID nineteen. It is so painful and so unfair. Uh, we need to close our offices in time and again, and 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 that and that. So it's a lot. It's 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 unprecedented. As as um, our our president has said, it it's it's unprecedented, and it's hard to figure out the the best way to to deal with it. So we are just praying for it. We are praying for our country and our nation and our world. Um, listen, I, I, it's good to be back. It's good to have you guys back, and yeah. So I'm coming back with um, a new season that we'll uh, go through together. It's, it's called Mrs. H, the attorney. Mrs. H, the attorney, it's an exciting one. Hence I'll be um, doing most of the videos in the office because um, we are dealing with um, this side of me, of course. So now this season will have um, part one up to five whereby I'll be dealing with, number one, the journey to become an attorney, um, steps in starting your own law firm, pros and cons of starting your own law firm. Um, number four, follow me around as an attorney, that would be sort of a vlog. And number five, the balance between Kuma, the attorney, and the lady bishop. So it, I believe it's going to be interesting, and I know you're going to love it, and I, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate having you in my in, in my journey. Thank you so much. And listen, um, so today I'm gonna be dealing with now the journey to becoming an attorney. So um, if I'm going to talk about the journey to becoming an attorney, of course I'm gonna be dealing with um, the, the the studying part of it first because there is no attorney that has not gone to school. <laughs> we need to study to become attorneys and. Um, uh, listen, um, uh, the whole thing started with a small dream that actually uh, gave birth to passion. Because um, I always say to people, I knew that I was going to be an attorney from like a very, very young age. Like um, I was between the age of 12 and 13. It was um, straight after watching, um, um, in, in fact, I read a book by Ngati Lesaula called Unyana Womdu. And I even, um, because of um, the love for the book, I, I even watched um, a TV drama called Unyana Womtu. It was based on that, um, on that particular book. And yo, it had a, a part that interested me so much, the court part of it. Most of it was in court because it, they were busy dealing with a, a murder case of um, a certain husband's wife and whatnot. Uh, I think most people know the story. But the, 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 what... Um, like what interested me the most was the court part of it and and how things were being searched and how things um, um, or, um ended up do you understand so now i knew uh, okay i wasn't as sure as 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 uh, uh, i would be but i knew that that part interested me i loved it so much and um also i think i was sure in grade nine when i was like um I was 14 and then I watched another one um, I, I I knew that yeah I think I watched another one was it so cool and partners no no so cool and partners played while I was already um, at school varsity because I, I, I remember that I knew all the cases that they were discussing there at court it did, it did a court um, drama it did a court part that like yo I live for it I, I love watching that uh, that um, so cool and partners because I remember I knew all the cases that they were dealing with there because we studied them at school so now but then I uh, at grade 9 when I was 14 I knew the thing what makes me sure that I knew that I wanted to be a lawyer I was convinced is because um, I made research Concerning what um, subjects, because I knew I had to choose um, a stream in, in, in grade ten, I needed to choose what what what, is, what, what was I going to study, because uh, at, at grade ten going forward you don't study everything you you choose what you want to study. So now, 
at grade nine, I knew that um, when I get to grade 10, I'm gonna choose history and geography. And it was because of my research that I did, I asked a few people that, you know what, if I wanna be a lawyer, what do I need to study? And then they, 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 they convinced me, even the teachers, that if you wanna be a lawyer, you must study subjects that um, will um, push you to read, that will push you to want to discuss things and and things like that. So now it, it, English was obvious and um, it, it was obviously going to be history and um, history mostly went with geography and uh, it was also business economics and, and whatnot. So it was all the subjects that pushed me to love reading. Because, and then I, I loved reading. Yo, I would read, I would close myself in the room and read history. I would bore people with that. I loved reading and whatnot. So that pushed me to um, even um, love it more, love law more, even more, because I knew that, you know what, if this is what lawyers do, I want to do this thing. I want to read. I want to discuss things. I want to go to court. That is exactly what I want. So now I, uh, uh, I even got a distinction on history. Yeah, that's how much I loved it. And then I applied to Varsity. I applied to the University of um, KwaZulu Natal and I was admitted. Um, I just um, applied, my first option was law and because I, like, I wasn't shaken, I knew that I wanted to do law. And then um, I just decided to, do, to, to choose the, other sec the second choice and the third choice because it was a requirement. Otherwise, I would, I would have just written one thing. So now, um, praise be to God that I was admitted for exactly what I wanted. I was admitted for law at the University of, of KwaZulu Natal, Howard College. And um, I started um, studying law there. You know, I was a bit um, hesitant in, in, in doing this, this um, series that I'm starting now because I knew that it was gonna be t it was gonna take me back to um is in dress and also in a way is <laughs> you know because it wasn't a, a, an easy journey not at all um i got there to the university of KwaZulu natal howard college and finding my way around wasn't easy though being at varsity was exciting and overwhelming but finding my way around i was like yo but fortunately enough i'm a person that um that does not have a problem in making new friends so i quickly made friends i got i, I had friends i remember londi i remember kanyo oh my varsity friends i remember abo precious hey, most of them i, I have become uh, lawyers and whatnot but um sadly enough the other one is going to be with the lord Ukanyo. but i made friends and we found our way around the varsity because it was even hard to to get to lecture halls because if if, if people know um howard college you you i, I recall that there, there was a lecture that was at shepstein shepstein building and you were like must we take a taxi to post shepstein now and they were like, no, it's a building. You need to find your way to the building. You, your lecture, your next lecture will be at Shepstein. And you would be like, yo, it's it's frustrating. It's not like high school, but it ended up being exciting. We found our way around and we got used to it. And coming to the studies, yo, it wasn't easy. I just want to say to people, if you are going to study law, you must just brace yourself. Forget about it. You know, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy course at all. You need to be sure if you want it. And um, yo, it wasn't easy. Yo, for the first time in my life, and I was always an A student. I was always uh, 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 on top of my game in high school and whatnot in primary. But now for the first time in my life, I failed modules. Yo, not one. I felt like I would fail this one, pass it next time and fail another one. It wasn't easy. Your law modules are tough. They need you to, to be strong. Um, bear in mind that at the time I'm telling you that I would fail modules, I, I you know, after lectures, I would go back to res and like I would um, prepare myself food, I would eat and rest a bit. And then like around five-ish um, to six, I would go back to the law library. We would stay there up until like 10 o'clock midnight studying. 
doing our case laws, doing our everything, and then still you would struggle passing those um, tests and, and whatnot, or, or maybe like get um, your 50s and whatnot. You know, it, it was hard. And then like um, a 70 or distinction would be like, yo, it was like gold at, 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 at varsity while doing um, law. It wasn't easy for me and, and yo, you know, I can say if it weren't for my husband, like I would, oh, I would, I wouldn't have finished it. I, I promise you. And um, yeah, so now at a certain stage, I remember that um, when I was going to start um, third year at, at Howard College, and I had I, I had modules of the previous year that I still had to do. It was hectic, so. I panicked and I was scared to be, um, I didn't want to be academically excluded because that would mean I would stay at home and, and, and whatnot, you know how it goes. So now I decided that, you know what, I want to go to, I want to change schools, like, and I just changed schools and I went to UNISA and I tried at UNISA for a semester. I was like, this is not for me. It wasn't easy. It was worse because um, UNISA, you know, there's no classes, there's only tutorials and you need to do everything on your own. You need to study on your own. That wasn't right. And then I, I, I stopped like 2008 for a whole semester. I wasn't studying. Like I, I just, oh, I had it. Like I was off. And then your, my husband was just my voice of reason because you would like keep on asking me, yo, <laughs> this, this thing makes me emotional. He would ask me that, didn't you say you want to be a lawyer? I, I would say, you know what, I, I wanted to be a lawyer, but I'm not sure now. With the rate of um, how things are going now, I, 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 I'm not sure if I want to be a lawyer. And what and he would ask, what do you want to be? If you're not going to be a lawyer, I was like, no, I'll just be a vendor. I'll sell food and whatnot. But no, this is tough now. Don't you still love to be a lawyer? I love to be a lawyer. I want to be a lawyer, but this thing is too much for me. It's, it's too much. I can't take it and I'm, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to failing. Do you understand? I've never felt like in my life and this is um, a, a different um, journey. It's, 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 it's revealing other things now that, that, that I, I didn't know I had and whatnot. Yo, it was hard. And then my husband, as I say, he would push me, he would pray for me and and yo he just and then now god um opened a door for him to come and pastor a church in the eastern cape and then that is when um god gave us um an idea that um you know what since we will be going to the eastern cape let us apply to the university of forte to study there to further this um because i hadn't finished the third year and fourth year so we applied to the University of Forte and we, we, I was ad admitted there and then I went to the University of Forte 2009. I studied there and because of the mix mesh of the subjects, um, I, I remember at, at Howard College we did semester courses and at Forte they did annual courses. So now that took me, that gave me, I needed to do like three years there instead of just two years. And yeah, so now I finished in 2011. And yeah, so at University of Forte, God just opened doors for me. Then I, I just passed and I, I became a tutor. And like, like the, the passion came back way too. And I was confident again. And yeah, that you know what, this thing is for me. Praise be to God. And then I, I graduated in 20. 12th um, April May you know the time of graduation I graduated and it was a joyous day and I just I felt like in my, in my heart that you know, you know what the person that is graduating here is my actually my husband because he pushed me he, he he made me what I am like God used him in an amazing way in my life I, 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 I would never forget that I was getting support from family, I was getting support from my spiritual father, uh, J.M. Malo, and, um, but my husband was just, yo, he kept on, <laughs> you know, 
and then um so i graduated i wasn't doing anything from 20 from from january up until june so in june i decided that you know what i'm not used to sitting and not doing anything because i was applying for articles and i couldn't get articles because we we, we learned at varsity that um if you so now from varsity where to from varsity from varsity we were going to um we had to do articles so that you can be able to be admitted as, a, as an attorney. So you had to do articles for two years or do one year in law school and then one year articles. So now we were like, which one is money? <laughs> so now most of us were like, we want the two years articles because you'll be earning, you'll be making money. But what I can say now, what I can advise a person that wants to do law, I would advise you to just go straight from varsity, go straight to law school because rushing for money will not help you learn you actually learn a lot of things in law school as opposed to when you're learning them practical in 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 in, in, uh, in these firms doing articles but praise be to god because um i as i said in june i decided to go and ask for um uh, um to go to to volunteer in legal aid uh, i just wanted to know work i wanted to start doing something i wanted to be busy so I volunteered at Legal Aid for like two months. And on the third month, um, there was a post open there for articles. And then I was I applied and then I was admitted at Legal Aid. Um, I started in September to do my articles and that was going to take a period of two years. And oh, the money in Legal Aid was beautiful. <laughs> Cause we'd get like 10,000 and above. And I was like, woo, I'm a lawyer. I felt like a lawyer. But then there was just articles and that was, um, not enough because after doing at while doing your articles you need to be writing your board exams like write one write two right they in, in total they are are they four it's um it's um it's it's court procedures it's um bookkeeping it's um ethics and the fourth one is estates yeah administration of estates so now you need to write all four of those board exams and pass them so that um after articles you get admitted as a, a, an attorney of uh, the high court of south africa do you understand so now i did all that and then i wrote my my board exams board exams are hell if you think um varsity is hell <laughs> like studying llb you must think again because uh, board exams are worse but then fortunately enough you you, you write board exams while uh, as an adult you already experienced you know how how varsity went you know the you know what is at stake so now you you give your all you just study and you study to pass we go to write i i wrote my board exams they were tough it was challenging and i remember i'm, I'm not friends with accounting so bookkeeping is just accounting so i remember i failed it and then I, I had to write it again and got um, opened the way I passed and that was it. And then I was admitted in 2016 as an attorney of the High Court of South Africa in Grahamstown High Court. That was like, oh, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in. So now that was it. That is how I became an attorney. That is the journey to becoming an attorney. So now next one, uh, next video, I'll be dealing with steps that I took in starting my own law firm and you'll be hearing more about it up until my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Thank you, thank you. I love you so much. And please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Thank you so much. I hope you find it interesting and you love it. I love you, bye.